Governor Rick Scott made a stop in Northwest Florida to defend Visit Florida and Enterprise Florida programs that some lawmakers want to cut. While the agencies have come under attack from some state lawmakers, Governor Scott insists they are job creators. Christopher Saul has more. Governor Scott says that for every dollar that we invest in either Enterprise or Visit Florida, we get $3.20 back in revenue. Who's heard of Coca-Cola? Anybody heard of them? <laughs> they still market. Why do they do that? Because it works. Scott met with local tourism industry members at a local seafood restaurant to discuss the House of Representatives' decision to axe most of the budget for the two programs. Colorado, in about 20 years ago, they just cut theirs out. Right. And the first year, well, first of all, it took 20 years to get back to their market share. He says if lawmakers get their way, the biggest impact would be on places like Destin. Visit Florida won't have a big impact on Disney or Universal Studios. For a small company, they will. The governor claims Visit Florida alone brought in more than 100 million tourists and $11.3 billion in taxes alone last year. He isn't happy with dissenting representatives from the Panhandle. So what's frustrating is you've got, you've got people that, are, that represent this area and represent the Panhandle. The only person in the House that voted to keep Enterprise Florida and fully fund Visit Florida was Brad Drake. Avery moved from Arizona to work in the Florida tourism industry. He worries about his family's future without Visit Florida. I, I think that uh, it could impact our, our jobs, our community around here. Martin Owen worries about a future without the $76 million program. You don't stop promoting tourism. Um, it would be very nice if you said uh, everybody else is going to stop promoting tourism as well so we can just go on, on what people remember, but it doesn't work that way. Especially with new competition 90 miles from Key West. Cuba is coming on stream. It's got lots of new things that people want. Um, it, it will certainly be an attraction to people who are looking for somewhere new to go. And over the next five to ten years, it could take a lot of our tourism unless we keep going at it. There are four weeks left in this year's session, so a decision could be made by the end of the month. In Okaloosa County, Christopher Saul, Channel 3 News.